Okay, so since the engine's down, I did a thing. I got rid of my old, old school tube and fan intercooler that was a little on the small side. I mean, it was large in size, but it was small for the uh, application. So I got a large um, bar and plate intercooler, and it was way big. There was four inches on top of this, so overall it was 12 inches tall. This is four inches thick, and I think the core is 24 inches. Yeah, 24 inches long, and so it was rated for what was that 800 horsepower I don't need an 800 horsepower you know daily intercooler so I chopped off the top four inches I'm gonna weld a plate back on here and uh, put some bungs to bolt it and throw it on the car and it should be good for at least 550 600 you know four inches of it chopped off four inches thick it should be good to go so this is me saying I did a thing um, <laughs> I don't have a bandsaw that's got a big enough throat on it that I could you know just set it in the bandsaw and cut it so it came out I, it did pretty good but it didn't come out perfectly straight and I messed up all these fins you can see right here where I started to try to straighten them and then as I went on messing with it I got better and better and better and better and better and I got my fins straight so these fins are like welded somehow to the core right here the tube or the bar this one's a bar um, either welded or glued, I don't know. I, it seems to me like they're welded somehow. Anyways, so, yeah, these top ones aren't going to be welded or glued, but at least I'll have the plate on top to protect them for the most part, and I'll have a bar and plate intercooler, a new one. So, I'll give you another shot when I get done get it all welded up all right <clears throat> there it is welded up don't leak it ain't the prettiest dang thing um, <laughs> you could tell a pro didn't do it but you know I'm getting pro every little thing I do I get better horrible lighting uh. let me see if I can uh, grab a light all right that's better so as you can see Weld it up, looks good. It's not the best, but you know, I'm still an amateur welder, self taught. Watch some YouTube videos and whatnot. I actually been welding mild steel for a while, and uh, <clears throat> I haven't been doing aluminum very long but there we go I've come a long way since I started doing aluminum that's for dang sure and now y'all get to see this part of it and I'm sure you'll see it on the car or putting it on the car or something so uh, enjoy Okay, here's the intercooler mocked up on the car and with the uh, 
mounting bungs welded to it. You can see I'm going to mount it just to the bottom of the steel bumper, the actual bumper. And then I'm going to make some brackets that come off the bottom and go to the radiator support. But there's that shot of it. The picture I showed just before was just sitting up there without the mounting bungs. And uh, you see there I relocated my horn because my intercooler piping runs right where the factory location was. And then I had this hole boxed in right here for my radiator for some extra cool air. Anyways, I've got to uh, straighten my radiator support a little bit. It's kind of pushed back bent from uh, <laughs> having the old intercooler on there and hitting a parking block or something a few times. I ain't even sure. But bumping it and it bent it back. But here's the shot of that.